and welcome to lesson 13.1 in the Atlas tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at world level methods. Now world level methods are something that will really help you organize your programs. You've no doubt encountered a problem while making larger programs that sometimes they get a little unruly. You have you know, dozens upon dozens if not hundreds of lines of code and making little changes can be a little bit challenging cycling through all your code to find out where a particular error is at. You know, if you look at some of the newer games and newer applications that have come out today, it's not uncommon for them to have millions upon millions of lines of code. And if they were all written in one program if we, or in just like one giant list as we've done thus far, it would be nearly impossible to debug them and work with them. So word level methods are going to help us organize our code a little bit into more reasonable chunks so that we can work directly with individual parts of our program. Now there's also another topic that, that's coming up soon called class level methods that are going to be a little bit different and we'll talk about those when we get to them but let's go ahead and get started with world level methods and how to use them as a tool to make your programs better organized. So here we are in our new Alice world and for this example I'm going to want to use a snow world so let's create a new world using the snow template. And I'm going to add a couple objects. And the objects that I want are from the people gallery. So scroll over until you find the people gallery. And I'm going to add some snowmen and snow women to my scene. So I'm going to add one snowman over here on the left hand side of the screen. And then I'm going to add, let's see, three snow women. And I want my snow women to be distinguishable from one another. So so that they're not all the exact same, let's go ahead and change the color of each of their hats. So we'll have one with a red hat. We'll go to the properties using effect subparts, select the hat, go to properties, and let's give one of them a blue hat. So you can see that changed over to a blue hat. And let's give one of them uh, another colored hat. I think uh, the third one should have an orange hat. Yeah, that looks a little too close to the red hat. Let's maybe go with a magenta hat. There we go. That, I think that uh, looks about right. The idea is, although all three of these objects are the exact same, I want them to kind of be distinguishable from one another. Now I'm going to position these objects so it looks like, oops, let's make sure we don't have effect subparts on, so that it looks like they're all having a conversation with one another. And the snowman is off to the side right here. This is going to be the initial setup for my scene right here, and we're going to create an animation where the snowman is going to try and draw the attention of one of these snow women over here, and we'll watch him get rejected, and that will kind of be the, the theme of our whole animation here, is this poor snowman is about to be rejected by this group of ladies over here. Now I can represent my scene with this kind of crude storyboard right here. Because this has a little bit more going on than my typical animations, I'm going to write down some of the different scenes that I want. Now this is a good habit to get into when you write larger animations so that you don't leave things out. So I know there's three main blocks of action going on in the scene. The first thing that's going to happen is the snowman's going to try and get the attention of the snow women. The snow women are going to react and kind of laugh at our snowman. And then the snowman is going to hang his head and walk away real sadly. So now I have a plan and I can go through and write each of these three different animations sort of independently from one another so that I can make sure that in the end I've gotten everything that I wanted to get done done. So knowing that the first thing I need to do is animate uh, a scene in which the snowman is getting the attention of the snow women, I'm going to head back over to Alice and write that scene. However, I'm not going to write the scene in my first method right here as we've done in the past. Instead, I'm going to create three world level methods to handle each of these different kind of larger animations. To do that, scroll up to the top and make sure that world is selected. Then click the methods tab. I can see that my first method is the only method that the world currently is able to do. Now some of the other objects have all of these methods that you've come to use in all of your programs, but the world itself only knows my first method. We're going to teach the world some new animations, and we're going to start with getting the attention of the snow women. So click on create new method, 
and we're going to call this method get attention. I'm going to use underscore notation. Now, you are welcome to use any type of notation you want, but underscore notation will transfer better to other programming languages, so you might want to get in the habit of doing it now. And I can see now, over on my methods window, I not only have my first method, but now world.getAttention as a method is available for selection as well. I can see it's also shown up here on the left-hand side. I now have a second method called getAttention that does nothing. Of course, the first thing that I'm going to want my snowman to do is turn to face the snow women. I'm going to use this uh, magenta hat snow woman as the target. So I'm going to take the snowman and give him code so that he turns to face. So find turn to face. And we need to figure out what snow woman she is. So she is snow woman number two. So snowman, turn to face, snow woman number two, and the entire snow woman number two. Now, if I hit play now, I'm going to get a warning message. It tells me the current method, world.getAttention, is not called by any events or other methods which might be called by any events. Essentially, what this is saying is I've got code in here, but it's not doing anything. It's, the program is never instructed to run world.getAttention. Click on your My First Method tab, go back to the world, and drag get attention to my first method. By calling world get attention, every line of code that's in this get attention world level method will now execute. So if I hit play, the snowman's going to turn to face the snow women. And maybe the, in order to have him grab the attention of the snow women, we'll have him say something. So we'll have the snowman say, um, He's kind of a, a slick snowman, so he'll say, hello, ladies. And we will have the duration of this be, uh, let's go three seconds, seems about right. And the bubble color itself is kind of going to be a, a pinkish color, because he's in love, so that's the, uh, the color of love. And now, World Get Attention has two lines of code in it, and it's still being called by this World Get Attention a function call here in the my first method tab. So if I hit play now, I can see that the snowman turned to face the ladies and now says hello ladies. So every line of code that I add to this will get executed by this one call to get attention. I now know that I can program this sort of an isolation so that get attention is all the animations and all the method calls that are going to result in the getting of the attention of the women. So let's go ahead and finish programming it out and see what we can do. After the snowman says, hello, ladies, all these ladies together, so we'll do a do together, all the snow women are going to turn to face the snowman. So let's have snow woman turn to face the snowman. Snow woman number two is going to turn to face the snowman. And snow woman number three is going to turn to face the snowman. And let's hit play and see how this works out. He's definitely got their attention now. And that should pretty much cover the get attention method right there. Now I can add some other things to it, but I think that's going to be adequate for our example right there. But I know that if I want to change anything and make the women seem more attentive, or if I want the snowman to do something different, like maybe tip his cap or say something different, I can do this all in the get attention method that I created. So that code isn't lost along with all the other code that we're going to be writing. Get attention is specifically the animation that the snowman and snow women use to run the get attention animation. So back here on my storyboard, I can now check off that I've gotten the attention of the snow women. So I'm just going to use the, the paint can here and go ahead and check that box off. And then I've noticed that the snow women wouldn't quite react to him just yet. The snowman's going to have to do something. So let's make a little bit of room here because I'm going to add a new uh, idea to this animation. And that's the snowman tips his cap 
to the ladies. So I want him to kind of greet the ladies a little bit and show that he's interested. So we've got, got a new spot for that right there. And we'll just copy this guy right here. So now I, I have a new action for my snow storyboard. And the next action that my snowman is going to take is he's going to tip his cap to the ladies. So let's head back to our Alice window and program an animation where the snowman tips his cap to the lady snow women. Since that's a different action on my storyboard, I'm going to create a new world level method for my snowman to use, and I'm going to create a method called tip cap. Once I create that new tip cap method, see I've got a third tab here called tip cap, and I can program the snowman tipping his cap independent of this get attention uh, block of code. So I guess the first thing that would have to happen is we'll have the snowman take his right arm and he's going to roll it to the right by a quarter revolution. Now to test this out right here, I don't want to watch the snowman turn and face the snow women dozens of times. So here in my first method, I'm going to disable get attention for right now. And now that I've added code to tip cap, I'm going to grab tip cap and drag it into my first method. And let's see what the snowman does. Well, he did move his arm, but his arm moved in the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and change this to left. And now let's see, the arm comes up to the hat. That's awesome. When that arm gets up to the hat, we're going to take the top hat itself and change the vehicle property so that the top hat is the vehicle to the snowman's right arm. And then we'll have the snowman's right arm, so we'll find that on the list, turn back to the left. We'll use a roll command, so roll right a quarter revolution. That'll undo the animation, but now the hat is attached to his hand. We'll have it roll back to the left by a quarter revolution. That will replace the hat back on the head. And then take the top hat and set the vehicle back to the snowman's head. So snowman, head, the entire head. With the hat replaced, the snowman's right arm will then roll back to its original starting position. So snowman, right arm, and let's use the roll right, a quarter revolution. So this animation right here should result in kind of a tip of the cap. Since get attention isn't called, all our snowman should do is tip his cap. And that seems like a good tip of the cap animation. Now that I have that hammered out, I'm going to re-enable get attention and see what these two animations look like when they're run one after another. He turns, he says hello ladies, now the women turn to face him, and the snowman tips his cap to the ladies. So our animation is coming along pretty nicely here. And now if I want to go back and add new things to my animation, I want to add new dialogue, I want to add some new actions, I've got these world level methods right here, so I know where I'm adding them in the animation, but my first method is only two method calls. We're getting the attention of the snow women and we're tipping our cap. So now that I have that done, We'll just go ahead and check off box number two. We've gotten the snowman to tip his cap, and the next animation that we have to write is have the snow women react and laugh at the snowman. Now that I know what I'm doing, let's head back to Alice and write this third scene. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut lesson 13.1 right there. Uh, this program will be finished to its completion in lesson 13.2, but the length of this video was getting a little bit too long, so we're going to go ahead and stop lesson 13.1 here, and if you want to see the completion of this program, go ahead and check out lesson 13.2, the completion of the world level methods video. In addition, uh, lesson 13.2 is where you'll find the World Level Method Challenge program. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching the first part of World Level Methods. As always, if you have any questions, if there's something you can't figure out on your own, or there's anything that I can help you with, please leave those in the comments and I'll be happy to help you get your programs up and running. Thank you so much for watching the Alice tutorial series and we'll 
see you in the next video.